Liquid Robotics is unique because we created a completely new type of vehicle. We call it the Wave Glider. And the Wave Glider runs entirely on renewable energy. Uh, and what's really significant about that is that the renewable energy in the area that it operates, which is the ocean, um, waves and solar power, uh, gives it persistence. It allows it to stay out in the ocean for long periods of time, and that's what's new. So the wave glider uses wave motion for propulsion. It uses solar energy to power the sensors and payloads that it'll carry. And this gives us a platform for data collection in the ocean it allows us to do fundamentally new things and existing things in new, much more cost-effective ways. Uh, we can monitor weather, we can monitor uh, extreme events, tsunamis, hurricanes, earthquakes. We'll then transmit that data via satellite uh, back to wherever the operators are here, um, where we can pull it up on the screen and see what's going on out there. There is no recipe for innovation. Uh, if there were, we would follow it and it wouldn't be innovative anymore. Um, I, I think that there are some uh, ingredients um, that were in place, at least when um, the, the wave glider was born and, and as liquid robotics was formed. Um, I think part of it is a willingness to suspend disbelief and work on things that seem like they might be uh, fanciful or even futile. Um, and, and that's what makes hard, that's, that, I think that's one of the big reasons why it's hard for big companies to innovate. Is it's hard to allow people to work on things that seem fanciful and futile. Um, uh, it would be hard to, make, to know the difference between that and really wasting their time. When you stand on the beach and look out at the ocean, um, you, you see waves and, and blue water and, and honestly, almost no matter what happens um, to humanity in the ocean, that's probably what you would see. Um, but that is such just the tiniest part of what's happening in the ocean, which is filled with tremendously intricate processes that aren't just isolated to the ocean. They relate to our lives. The inter interrelationship of processes requires constant, detailed monitoring, spread out both in time and space. And um, the wave glider is a cost-effective platform. We can put thousands of them out there uh, that are mobile. They can monitor uh, uh, what's happening, uh, where they are, um, and travel a, um, a, pa a, a, a survey pattern, or they may just stay put just like a buoy would. Um, but they can stay out there for long periods of time and get continuous data streams. That's what's hard to do from a ship. Um, a ship will go out, but then it has to come back a month or so later for refueling and because the crew wants to get off and do something else. The wave gliders don't have that constraint. They can stay out there um, for um, really as long as we want them to. They're not going to run out of fuel. They're not going to, um, uh, they don't need um, food or, or, or uh, to see their family. Um, and uh, um, so uh, it's, it's a new way of gathering data from the ocean um, that is um, really exciting in how it's going to enable us to understand the planet better, and we really need to do that.